Welcome back to Tech Minded, where we help you get more from tech. Today I wanted to recreate a popular product that's been in the media a lot lately, in reference to the tech world anyway, which is the FPV system that was created by DJI for their drones. FPV stands for First Person View, and this system basically allows for you to wear a set of goggles while you're flying your drone and you'll be able to see exactly what the drone is seeing. Their new system has a lot of different upgrades that their old systems didn't have. They didn't really have a dedicated system prior to this. But I know you don't care. My initial idea was to create my own FPV system for my DJI Mavic Air. However, I've since changed up my plan, which I did initially create this. I 3D printed this little carrier and this cap that goes on top of it and I test flew it on my Mavic Air a few days ago. It's decent, but the system doesn't give me a better view than what I can see on my phone screen when I'm already flying my Mavic Air. So I decided to switch it up and repurpose this FPV system for what you're about to see. First, let's go over what we've got here. This is a transmitter from an old Hubson uh, drone. It's a small drone that I had here in my house. It doesn't, the drone doesn't work anymore, but the transmitter does and it has this screen for first person view. And we're gonna use that later to view the video. I also have this cheap headset. I think it was $39, but it's FPV goggles. It has a small screen inside and it goes on your face and then you can see, if I turn that on, you'll be able to see what the camera sees. Which takes us to the next step of this, which is the camera itself. This camera was purchased on Amazon. I'll put the link in the description. It's a really small standalone FPV system. It's got everything it needs. The antenna, as you can see, these wires I've patched together because I had it on another project prior to this. I actually replaced the camera on the old drone from that controller, but I know you don't care. Uh, anyway, so I spliced this connector on. Uh, it's got a little button here so you can change the channels, all these things that you can do when you need to set up an FPV system. But there's a million FPV systems on drones these days and every single one of them is probably better than the system that I put together. This is a few years old but it's actually still a really good working system. It's not the highest quality but I think it was like $15 so I couldn't really pass that up. This is a battery from an old uh, SEMA X not an X8, I think X6 or something. Uh, it's another drone battery. It's a small battery, 500 or 600 milliamp hours, maybe 3.7 volts, I believe, something like that. Either way, it has the same connector as this does. That way, I can just use this battery and plug it directly into the camera. And when I do that, you can see the little channel indicator light up and the camera is on. That's essentially the FPV system right there. Now I'm going to turn this on just to show you what you can see from that screen. So you can get an idea of what this looks like before we put this little system together and put it to use. Basically, I'm just going to scan through these frequencies until I figure out which one has that output. That's good enough. Get a little line scanning, but it's not going to be perfect. All right. So now, as you can see on this screen, this is the output of this camera. Yeah. So I can move this camera and look at. This is this is my studio, right? It's actually my son's room. But um, yeah. So if I hold it closer, you can see it's looking at you. It's what you look like from my point of view. Um, and it can also, you know, you get the idea. It's a standalone system, a battery and a camera and all the stuff that makes it do that. Yeah, so my big idea, and this is big, big brain stuff. I was going to take this and I did all this measuring. Of course it didn't work. Well, I mean it worked, but it didn't fit. So I had to make it fit anyway. The FPV system goes in here and you take this nice battery, plug it in here 
And then the battery fits way better than the camera does right down in there. And then we cram this little top on it and I'll secure it with a little bit of tape. And once that's in place, we have, we have a standalone FPV system with the little antenna sticking out. There's no ports or anything fancy because it's not fancy. And there's the camera sticking out the front. And if I still had this screen on, it would still be showing the same thing it was showing a minute ago. So just like this screen, this headset also works. So like I said before, you can see through these screens, you can see what the camera is seeing. This has the capability of recording that video to a little SD card, which is exactly what I plan to do so I can share this video. Now on to what makes this concept so amazing is that I'm not gonna bore you with another drone video because nobody cares about my drone. And I'm not gonna fly this on top of my drone like I did the other day because it already has a better camera on the front of it. But you know what doesn't have FPV? It's my dog. Lolly does not have FPV, but in all these years we've lived together, I've always wondered, what is her POV? So I want a first, first, first dog. I want to see how she sees. And that's the next step. So let me tape this top down, then we're going to figure a way to put this on Lolly's head or something, something humane, because we love Lolly. But we're going to find a way to secure this so we can see her. Uh, so we can see. Stay tuned. All right, I'm back. I got some tape. So you can see this is very nice. Uh, I didn't say before, I printed this in nylon, so it's nice and tough. Yeah, uh, it's printed in nylon six, Kodak nylon six. Uh, so that's cool. Modeled it myself in Fusion 360. I'd give you a 3D printer montage, but I didn't record one. And uh, how we're gonna secure this to Lolly is, we're gonna come up with something. I've got these GoPro straps used for securing GoPros to things. So I'm thinking I could probably just secure it to her head that way, she might not mind. Lolly, come here. Lolly. Should be big enough. Come here, Lolly. There you go. Come here, come here. Come here, come here. This is Lolly. That's it, it's right there. Camera shy. This is just a camera. She's just scared of the camera. It's okay, Lolly. It's okay. It's okay. Don't be shy. Hey, hey, hey. Don't be shy. Yeah, don't be shy. It's all right. We're gonna. We want to see your point of view. She's just you know, dogs. Dogs these days. Lolly dog. Oh my goodness. Can we see what you see, Lolly? Oh God. She's ruining the set. Come here. Come here. Let's put this thing on your head. Come here. Okay. Well, this is going well so far. Hang on, I'm gonna put this on your head. Lolly, be still. It's like a hat. It's like wearing a hat. There you go. It's like wearing a hat. Oh my gosh, you're doing this. Okay. Hang on, Lolly, hang on. So good, girl. Okay. Da, 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 da. Don't take it off. How am I gonna see what you see, Lolly? How am I gonna see what you see? Well, come here. Come here. so much today we are scientists lolly <laughs> this is dog science all right but look now our viewers they want to see what you see they're dying to know what do the lolly see oh my god lolly calm down it's okay oh 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 hey 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 think she can't handle all these um these radio waves in her brain she's getting mixed signals we're trying to bind to the plane. We're binding to the lolly. All right, we're gonna look. She just shook it off. Lolly. Come here, come, I, I, come here. I'm trying to help you. Hang on, lolly, don't. There you go. Hey, 
Now, how are we gonna do this, Lolly? We got a video to make. Oh, my God, I could put it on my head. That's cool, right? I think it's a great idea, actually. Let's see. My head's too big. Molly, I need you to help. You got to help me with this. Thought we were a team. Me and you. And I see. This is what it's all about. And you stink too, Molly. Come on. Man, I'm sweating. I'm do this. This thing's gonna make me change the channel again too. Not plugged in. Told you, it's big brain stuff. This, this battery not working all of a sudden. This is like a bad battery. Uh oh. No, that's still good. What the heck? Let me get another battery. I got nothing. This is not a prank. I was, I actually spent some time putting this one together. Better than that other uh, thing I did a few weeks ago. And I've been talking about bringing you guys a new series called This Week in Tech. Twit, if you will. Uh, I wanted to highlight some of the latest tech news. You know, because this is a tech channel. And I like to share tech. I read tech news constantly to keep up with what's going on in the world. Aside from making these things that I make, I thought, hey, you know, give these people something worth watching for. And... Uh, I haven't got around to it because I still have to create a backdrop, a few other things. I got a new mic here, so certain things are looking up, but this camera ain't one of them. I swear, y'all just saw the thing work. I don't know what is going on. Lolly walked over there and slung it off her head, and now it's not doing anything. If you want to make a FPV system <coughs> for whatever, I'll make these STL files available so you can print your own nifty case and it fits these little batteries that are very common and cheap. This is also very common and cheap, although it doesn't hold up to much as you can see. Um, I don't know what went wrong here. I actually had the intention of showing you a working product. I showed you a working product and then well, Lolly slung it off her head. But if nothing else, I hope we got some cool video of Lolly sitting here in my lap with a thing on her head. So, it was still worth it. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe so you get notified of my future videos. And leave me a thumbs up, it helps helps a lot so other people can see this awesome video share it with your friends if they're into dpv you could even comment dpv hashtag dpv uh, dog point of view i'm probably not even the first person to do this actually I'm, i know i'm not i've seen someone strap a uh, gopro on a dog before and that was pretty cool i just thought it'd be cool to 
can see through her eyes with the goggles. But hey, you know, you can't win them all. So, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.